Today I'm going to show you how to spice up your videos with this amazing plugin from AE Juice. What's up guys? My name is Edgar B and I'm back with another tutorial and I know I've been missing. I haven't done any reviews, any tutorials in a while. It's been hectic after the hurricane, you know, so, but I'm going to jump right in and show you how to spice up your videos with this plugin from AE Juice. Let's go to the screen. So I have DaVinci Resolve open right here. Um, I got my video clips right here, my sample clips. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and create a new timeline with these clips. Got four clips. Let's just put this AE Juice. Okay, let's go ahead and I don't need this audio. Unlink the clips and just delete it. I have the plugin already installed. I've used this plugin for a couple of years now with Premiere Pro, but in the last three months, I've switched to DaVinci Resolve. So now I'm going to teach you how to use it in DaVinci Resolve, which is a little bit different than in Premiere Pro because in Premiere Pro, they have an installer that automatically pops up with Premiere Pro. With DaVinci, you have to use it as a standalone. And I will leave the link in the description of the plugins from AE Juice that you could use with DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to slide my AE Juice standalone plugin. These are a whole bunch of effects we got from 8-bit effects. And when you hover over the effect itself and you can see the preview. So you got badges, you got broken glass, you got burning transition. Let's say let's try with the camera screen recording, right? So you got a, two sections here. You got bonus content and then you got screen recordings. Let's say you want to get this one. So you're going to click download. It's going to download onto your computer into a folder. So we recorded um, screen recording one with this smaller. Come on, there it goes. I'm going to go ahead and drag the screen recording on top of your clip. And if you just want to keep using that same effect, just alt and drag. Let's say you want to do a transition. Let's go to burning transitions. Got a whole bunch of different styles here, but let's just click this one. Download. So let's just grab the burning transition and put it right on top of the clip in video track two. So this is the cut right here. Let's put this right on top in the middle. But let me show you one more effect that I really, really like the split screen. Grab whichever one you want and just drag and it's downloading. So you click it, download, or you could just double click it, automatically downloads. Grab your animated frame and put it there and voila, look at that. You could even put it up there and let's say you want to grab this clip and put it here. And you go here to your inspector and you can move one video all the way. And there you go, you got two videos right there. How good is that? So much stuff that you can do with this plugin. And one last thing, uh, these clips that I'm using are copyright free clips that I downloaded from Pexels, a website that I normally download uh, video clips for my true crime channel. Link in the description if you're into true crime. AE Juice has this integrated in their standalone plugin. So you got the photos and you got the videos. So you just click and look, you can even type what you want city works the same way click download it's going to download into your computer and we have a city there guys this was just a quick tutorial on one of the best plugins for davinci resolve i'm still learning davinci resolve so yeah but anyways the link is going to be in the description this video is not sponsored by ae juice but i want to give them a shout out for sending me the i want it all bundle upgrade you could use it on davinci you could use it on premiere after effects and final cut code like comment subscribe Thank you.